Hello and welcome to Kara Brandon Creations. I am going to share the upcoming Junk Journal July Facebook group challenge for Kara Brandon and friends. So it's going to be similar to the Jump Ahead June challenge and the fact that we're making uh, some items for a junk journal. Uh, the thing that's different this month is we're actually going to make a single signature journal and then the things that we make throughout the month we're actually going to use to decorate the journal. All right, so for this month, it's going to be five weeks. So this last, sorry, that's the dog. This last week actually rolls into the first week of August. All right, so starting with the first week of July, which is coming up, what is it? this next week for the 4th of July, um, we're going to make a single signature journal, kind of like what I have here. I did my live last week making this journal. I will have it in the description if you kind of want to follow along to see how I made this one. And it just needs to be a single signature. I'm sure there's folks that will make more than a single signature, might make a hardcover, it, whatever kind of journal you would like to make. So then, once you have it made in the Facebook group, you will put a picture of your journal in the group. Of course, you can put a picture or a short video, uh, but something to kind of show me, hey, look, I did this week's challenge. And then there will be a drawing after week one for either a free digital or I'm gonna make up some more mystery junk journal kits so the winner can choose which one they would like. And then week two, we're going to make two mas uh, two different master boards or collage boards. And those are what we'll use for the following week. So we're gonna make two and you can use the same papers in both or you can use different papers. I'm actually gonna show you how I am gonna create the master boards next, not next there. Yeah, next Thursday, July 7th, I'm going to start something new. I'm going to try and do Facebook slash YouTube lives every Thursday, starting at um, July 7th. So I'm going to start July 7th. I really started last week, but July 7th, and I will be on at 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is 1 p.m. Arizona time. <laughs> And we'll see how that goes. I'm going to give it a try, go live, um, maybe an hour, two hours, I'm sure it will depend on the weeks, and see how it goes, and then see what my kids' schedule is like come the fall, and this may or may not change. But for now, over summer, it seems like it's a good day, good time, so we're going to give it a try. All right, so back to week two. So then, no, okay, so yeah, week two is master boards. Week three, we're going to take the two master boards that we've created and we're going to make at least four uh, journaling cards. And so we're going to cut them, but then we're also going to embellish them. If you happened to do this month's challenge, you probably have lots of different embellishments that you may have not used, the die cuts and the different things. So that would be a great way to use them for week three of this champ or this July challenge. All right, and then week four, we're gonna use the second master board that we created back in week two, and we're going to make at least five clusters and four snippets. I say at least because in June so far, I would say a number and then people were blowing that number out of the water. So I'm giving a minimum and, and you guys go hog wild. <laughs> so you need at least five clusters because again, we're going to be decorating a journal. And I thought, well, five would be nice. And then if you, you don't use them all, that's okay. But better to have a few more than not enough. And then some snippets. Again, I'll be doing this live the following week. I'm going to guess that's what the... 14th, but I don't quote me because I don't have a calendar. And then the last week, which was really the first week of August, we're going to take pictures of our decorated journal, our embellished journal. If you want to do a short video flip through, that would be fine, or take several pictures and then you're going to post them in that week's challenge. 
again each week on Sunday, hopefully <laughs> on Sundays, I will do the drawing in the Facebook group for the winners. And what else am I forgetting? Hmm. I'm not sure. If I'm forgetting something, post your questions down below. I will also, I have the event created already in the Facebook group. So if you're in the Facebook group, you can ask your questions there as well. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention, hold on, let me grab it. <laughs> I did my first face forward reel talking about this. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> my dog hopped on my lap and I kept the video. <laughs> anyway, I made this folio with, la um, last year I made it using the 4th of July kit that I made last year. This is not the kit that this is. Um, and I put that on sale in my Etsy shop for 50% off through the 5th. Who knows? I might extend it if there's interest. Um, but yeah, I did a really short project with it last year, so I didn't really talk a lot about the 4th of July kit last year, but it is there. It's available. It's very retro Americana kind of vibe. Um, so that is on sale in the Etsy shop, which I will link below. And also the retro picnic kit, which is still sitting right here, is also on sale through the 5th. And... I think that's all. All right. Again, if you have questions, post them below and have a wonderfully crafty day. Bye-bye.